United Nations General Assembly reaches its closing sessions at Flushing, Long Island. Russia's Foreign Minister Molotov is keenly concerned about the International Disarmament Resolution. Secretary of State Burns addresses the delegates on the subject, disclosing the number of American armed forces in foreign countries. The Assembly takes a long step toward world peace by approving the resolution and routing it to the Security Council. A permanent site for the United Nations World Capitol is also approved. From 42nd Street between First Avenue and the East River in New York, the future skyscraper headquarters will occupy six blocks running north to 48th Street. This eight and one half million dollar tract is the gift of John D. Rockefeller Jr. and solves a difficult problem for the UN. The city will add another two million dollars in small tracts rounding out the site. Many other sections were explored by the committee, and after a year's search, UN Secretary General Trigville Lee calls for a deciding vote. The 18 acres in Midtown Manhattan are chosen by a vote of 46 to 7. The international organization's wanderings are over. Work of clearing the land for a magnificent world capital will start in a few months. Foreign Minister Molotov and his aides return to Moscow after the Big Four Peace Conference and the United Nations Assembly adjourn. Like the other delegates, Mr. Molotov is highly gratified with the results accomplished. Boarding the line of Queen Elizabeth, he bids goodbye to the United States. Ernest Bevan, England's Foreign Secretary, and Mrs. Bevan also leave. Mr. Bevan expressed confidence in the prospect of a durable and lasting peace. Many UN representatives sail for home too with an optimistic feeling of accomplishment.